There is shocking news concerning Roman Reigns and the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. At the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, it is currently scheduled that Brock Lesnar, the WWE Champion, is going to take on Bobby Lashley, and the Universal Champion, Roman Reigns, is going to take on Seth Rollins. But according to reports, there are huge last-minute changes that are going to be made to those two matches. It's currently rumored that Brock Lesnar has been forced to cancel his appearance at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, which means that the Bobby Lashley match for the WWE title has been canceled. And of course, we had to go through this same sort of thing for the day one pay-per-view, where Roman Reigns unfortunately tested positive for COVID and he couldn't wrestle on the show. So now, once again, WWE is caught off guard by having one of the biggest wrestlers on the pay-per-view unfortunately not being able to participate and the reason why Brock Lesnar will be a no-show at the event is because of what happened a few weeks ago during a face-to-face -face confrontation on SmackDown between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. There were reports that when Roman Reigns Superman punched Brock that he hurt Brock for real and that he injured his jaw. It seemed that Brock has al was already having some problems with his jaw before that. Uh, it was injured during one of his training sessions, and then when Roman hit him, I guess a little too hard, it further injured his jaw so badly that he's not gonna be well enough to participate on the pay-per-view. And unfortunately, WWE has once again had to figure out what to do and the current plan is to simply say, okay, Brock's not going to be on the pay-per-view. Our champ, our WWE champion's not on the pay-per-view. Uh, he's going to be forced to vacate the title. And then after the title is vacated, then we'll move Lashley into the, the Seth Roman match. We'll put the, w, the vacant WWE title on the line. And of course, Roman Reigns will put his universal title on the line. And whoever wins that match will become the brand new double champion. And right now, it's rumored that Roman Reigns is going to win that match and be crowned the double champion. And he'll hold both his universal title that he's held for more than 500 days, but he will also hold the WWE title. And the current plan if Brock is healthy enough, by the time WrestleMania 38 rolls around, Roman will simply wrestle against Brock Lesnar, and he will put both of his titles on the line. Then whoever wins that match will have both titles. But right now, Brock Lesnar's health is unknown because he simply is unable to get cleared to wrestle in a match because of how bad his jaw is. And it's unknown whether he's going to need surgery. But as of right now, these are some huge changes to the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Sasha Banks is currently facing a very sad health crisis. Unfortunately, Sasha Banks was injured at a house show when she was facing Charlotte Flair. Her foot was injured and she is now gone from WWE, of course, this is just what they're telling us. It seems that the truth is actually much more serious than what Sasha herself or WWE has been telling us. Yes, it is true that she injured her foot in that match against Charlotte Flair. They did say that she's going to be out of action for six to eight weeks and that she would miss the Royal Rumble. But now it seems that she will be out of action for much longer than what WWE has stated. And Sasha Banks herself is very concerned that her wrestling career might be over because of how serious this injury actually is. And due to the nature of this injury, which has ended many pro athletes' careers, Sasha is taking every step possible 
to get back into wrestling and not let this injury be career ending. And she is not only going to a physical therapist, going to her doctor and seeing specialists who work on these kind of injuries, but she's also seeking help from the alternative medicine community. And it's now been revealed that she has visited several different alternative medicine clinics to try and help the recovery process and to try and save her wrestling career. And she is currently receiving many different treatments, including staying inside of a hyperbaric chamber, which she basically goes inside, they seal it up, and she stays in there for an hour or two. She is also receiving IV treatments, and she's also receiving a treatment where a special device is placed on the injured foot, which is her left foot. And she has also gone so far as using special crystals that are placed on her forehead, and those are supposed to help speed up the recovery process. Another thing she is doing is receiving oxygen. She basically goes into a specialized clinic, they have her lay down, and they place an oxygen mask on her, and she starts receiving oxygen. And just the thought process is, okay, the more healthy the whole body is doing, the faster the foot will heal. Some people may believe in these treatments, some people may not. She feels like she's running out of options, and this is a very, very serious situation, especially because she loves pro wrestling. She kind of feels like her dream is slipping away right now, and she is doing everything possible to get back on track, and she will most likely have to miss WrestleMania unless some of these specialized alternative treatments end up working and her foot is 100% healed by the time WrestleMania rolls around. But right now, it doesn't look good for Sasha Banks. What are your thoughts about Sasha Banks missing the Royal Rumble and possibly missing WrestleMania this year? And what are your thoughts about the rumor that Roman Reigns will become double champion? Leave a comment below and give me your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification so you are notified when we upload a new video.